Uh, David Cameron says he is concerned about the growing row with Spain over Gibraltar. Let's speak now to the Chief Minister of Gibraltar, Fabian Picardo, uh, who'd earlier likened Spain to North Korea. Uh, although some have said perhaps it's easier to get across the border into North Korea than it is to get into Spain. Uh, well, not at the moment. In fact, despite all of the rhetoric, there's a complete normality today at the Gibraltar-Spain uh, frontier. It's only the rhetoric of the Spanish foreign minister that is reminiscent of the rantings of Kim Jong-il. Could that mean, then, that the diplomacy is softening attitudes somewhat? Well, I, I hope it does. You know, I, I think that politics is the way to resolve uh, the issues in dispute, and dialogue is the way of politics. And I don't think that action which affect the most innocent uh, in our society, you know, the elderly and the infirm, young and pregnant women who might have been in queues um, are the ways to deal with the, the problem. And frankly, the idea that we might somehow affect the 10,000 people who cross the frontier from Spain to Gibraltar every day to do a hard day's work uh, and use them in some way to try and resolve the dispute, I think is absolutely wrong. And I would urge the Spanish Foreign Secretary to think again and to, uh, to work in a much more modern way and engage with the British government and the Gibraltar government in resolving all issues in dispute in respect of this matter. If they don't, what uh, can you do? Bearing in mind, uh, as some have uh, observed, this actually uh, goes against the EU's freedom of movement rules. Well, there's a lot that can be done, and it would be foolish of me to sit here and give you a list of the things that we might plan to do, because obviously then Spain would know exactly what we would plan to do to, to deal with their actions. But uh, you're aiming in the right direction. It's right to say the Treaty of Rome preserves the freedom of movement of people, and therefore that would be an issue to, to consider. And the European Commission is the guardian of the treaties. In respect of the proposal to make it harder for aircraft to land at Gibraltar, as if it wasn't hard enough already, you know, I think that there's an agreement already uh, done at Cordoba, which dealt with that and a number of other things, and those agreements must be maintained. And I'd be very surprised if the Spanish foreign minister, uh, once he's uh, calmed down and finishes having a tantrum as a result of the foreign secretary having called in the, the Spanish ambassador in London last Friday, if the Spanish foreign minister insisted in uh, measures that would make it more difficult for an Airbus full of innocent people uh, to land at Gibraltar and therefore that their safety should be compromised. I think we should consider these things have been said uh, in anger and hopefully will not be seen through in action. However, you, you did refer to the 1960s and 1970s and of course that was the, the Franco dictatorship. I mean, is there actually an issue here about the political character of the current Spanish government? Well, look, if you look at uh, what Franco did in the 1960s in reprisal for the, Her Majesty the Queen's visit to Gibraltar, it was all of the sorts of things that Mr. Malagari is talking about now. Uh, it's very clear to me that the politics of bullying Gibraltar into a, a submission, as the Spaniards believe to think, or the Spanish government believe to think is possible, is something that has its genesis in the dictatorship of General Franco, something that I think all of us had hoped and asked. Mr. Picardo, thank you very much indeed for your time and joining us uh, there in Portugal and not Spain. Thank you. Thank you.